This podcast is brought to you by Artspire, presented by the Pump House Regional Arts Center to attract, engage, and connect artists and the community through an art fair and sale on Saturday, June 12th. Information is at artspire.thepumphouse.org. We talked to Greg Hall, you might know him as Cheech, of Cheech's DeesFest Family Music Festival. We discussed the origins of the event, putting on a festival during COVID, the multi-day lineup, where to stay, and how to grab tickets. You can find more conversation, food reviews, live music, and events on our website, lacrosselocal.com. I'm Amy. And I'm Brent. And this is Lacrosse Local. Fest, I mean, it's basically a relatively new festival. You just kind of had a break in between the first year and then COVID, and then now this is the second year. Yeah, yep, exactly. So can you tell us how Dees Fest got its start? Well, you know, I've had Dees Productions going now for, well, going on 11 years. I'm doing shows, tribute shows, random, you know, regional artists, and we never had actually done a festival, so I just kind of got all my ducks in our own one for it and it actually turned out very well we had a really good response from the community the people that were there the bands were great our staff was exceptional um the bluebird campground crew was good um creekside the four sisters crew they were awesome so we just figured you know go for it again this year obviously last year nobody did anything last year but uh we're just hoping by the end of july the cd is rules and regulations are something we can work with and um i'm just trying to promote it now just hoping for the best you know as all of us are you know you kind of reference it there but how do you go about putting together a festival you know especially during a time like covid well you know i didn't you know quite frankly i just this time around we just kind of doing it like we did the first year we're just hoping that um you know, once it gets closer to the date, we just keep checking those guidelines and how many tickets we can sell and just trying to just go with the flow, try to, you know, our number one goal is to keep everybody safe. So if it gets to be that point and we got to reschedule or something, you know, we're going to abide by the rules and keep everybody safe. Hopefully by then we'll, we'll be okay. So we're just kind of throwing out a Hail Mary and hoping for the best. I got to attend and I came with the the wife and kids. You know, it's a really accessible festival in terms of, you know, if you're an older adult or you have children, there is camping component to it, but you could basically drive right up to where the music is and just get out and hang out. Yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, that's how it worked last year. Hopefully, you know, it all depends on how many tickets we sell. You know, sometimes the parking can get weird, but last year, it's everything worked out, or two years ago, it worked out great. And, um, we have a shuttle bus that went to and from Bluebird Campground, which is less than a mile down the road. Over the last couple of years, especially, they have, Melissa and Matt Frank, the owners, have done a tremendous job of remodeling that campground. And me having been, you know, lived in that valley my whole life growing up, it's a night and day difference. I mean, it looks really nice. So what's the lineup this year look like? We have the Big Woo. They're a new band this year. Um, band you know it's been a big part of my musical career um you know in the late 90s and the two and still to this day they got a real good reputation of being one of the high-end jam bands you know they've just got a lot of you know i feel like a lot of us have a lot of history with big blue they kind of started it i mean for all of us musicians my age and younger i mean the big blue were kind of the first one to say hey here's this cool thing that we can do and kind of got all the rest of us a lot of us motivated to become musicians. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking for myself, obviously, but uh, I feel a lot of people, you know, around 40, as musicians in those early 2000s where the Big Woo really blossomed, they were a big influence. And there are a bunch of my really good friends. And then we had the White Iron Band. I'm actually in that band. They've been a band for 22 years out of Minnesota, the outlaw country thing going on. And, and local heroes, Tug and the Smoking Bandits. And Matt Monsoor is a new add-on this year. I love Matt. Matt's a great musician, a great person. Matt Malum is going to have a full band. 
he's working on a, an album of his own right now, you know, and then we got, you know, there's a lot of returning musicians as well. Greg Hall and the Wrecking Ball and Mr. Blank and Joe and Vicky Price, their new addition to this year. So lots of good, a lot of good bands, man. Slippity Gibbet, their local band, Outland. It's their first gig out here too. Dan Berger's going to do a songwriter thing at Bluebird. Chiba, we're going to do a little Sunday morning performance at Bluebird. So we're trying to, you know, just spread out the love with all the local bands in our music community as much as we can. And then a few few outsiders to just mix it up a little bit. But it's, it's going great. So everybody's really excited just to get out and play, I think, more than anything. So people can pick up single or weekend tickets or even a one with a accommodations so people could stay at the campground? Basically, if you want to stay at Bluebird, you can go online right now and get your spot. We don't have tickets that include the camping. If you want to camp, just go on bluebirdcampground.com and reserve your spot now. And then the day of, you can buy single tickets the day of at the door. We're not selling those pre-sale. So if people want to find out more, what's the best place to go to pick up tickets or check out the new announcements? Jeezproductions.com is the only place for sell online. So we'll have them at Tree Huggers Co-op, Instrument Repair of Lacrosse, the Garden of Eden, and then a couple other um, spots in town. Oh, Deaf Ear Records is usually our number one spot by all of our Deez Productions. Tickets for all the shows we usually have coming up, they're always a big help. Lacrosse Local Podcast is a production of River Travel Media. Do you have an interview idea you'd like to share with us? Message us on Facebook at Lacrosse Local. Find out more about us at lacrosselocal.com. And you can subscribe to the Lacrosse Local Podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you like us, rate us five stars. We appreciate it.